I'm Josh Brown and I'm a sports reporter at The Record. I'm doing a story on Kitchener boxer Art Benkowski who was at the uh, 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia and starred in the movie uh, Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe. His name came up about a year ago in the office. Uh, someone said they saw him downtown dressed only in a pair of shorts, no shoes, no shirt and didn't look like he was doing too well so I thought I'd check in to see what was going on with him. When I first met Art, uh, he's a very intimidating guy. I didn't know if he was going to hug me or punch me. And when we showed up at the record for our first interview, he had a gash uh, running down his head that was fresh, a black eye, missing tooth. Um, his hand was all, all cut up. Uh, and he told me that he had just been jumped in Waterloo. The story focuses on Art's life. He came here when he was 13 uh, with his family who immigrated from Poland. And it follows him as he trained under Ernie Beam uh, locally, who also trained uh, heavy world heavyweight champ Lennox Lewis, uh, qualified for the Olympics, started off his pro career well and defeated in his first 16 bouts. Um, and then things started to take a turn. He started to lose some fights. And the last decade's really been a struggle for Art. Uh, he's been in and out of jail. Uh, and he's really, uh, in 18 years since the Olympics, um, still trying to find his uh, place in society. Um, Art's a tough guy to interview. He's one of probably in uh, 27 years of journalism or so, one of the most memorable interviews I've ever had. He's the kind of guy where you ask him a question, he starts to answer and then veers off into uh, a myriad different topics and, and takes about 10 minutes to answer one question. So oh, the reason I did not fight at that, at that fucking thing, everything was for the fight, like I said. I met Art uh, three times uh, over the course of uh, almost four months. Um, he's a tough guy to get a hold of, you know, he, he doesn't uh, live at a permanent address, he moves around a lot. Uh, I'd call his cell phone and leave messages for him and, and try to keep in touch that way. Um, I met him in Toronto, I met him in Kitchener, I met him in Waterloo. At one point he disappeared for about six weeks during the interview process. Uh, I later learned that he was in jail and that he only got out on weekends. He'd randomly call me some nights out of the blue at home as well and we'd have some chats over the phone which was helpful. You can read the story online on the Records website or uh, it will be in Saturday's Record Paper.